Hola, soy Ankita, profesora de español. Hello, I am Ankita, Spanish teacher. So, welcome to the Rising Weavers Academy. Today, we are going to start our first Spanish class. Okay, so we'll start from the alphabet, right? Okay, so I'm going to pronounce the sounds of the alphabets and you have to listen me carefully. Okay, if you have any doubt, you can ask me. All right? Okay, so I'm going to pronounce the sounds of the alphabets okay because it is compulsory to understand any language we must know the sounds of the alphabets how can we pronounce the words on alphabets right so in spanish we call los alfabetos right los means the for article and alfabetos is alphabets clear yeah? okay no problem it will take time you will understand after some time okay so, I am going to pronounce the sound of the alphabets. Let's start from the alphabet A. So, the sound of the alphabet A in Spanish will be A, B will be B, C will be C, D will be D, E will be A, right? F will be F, A, G will be K, H, S, H, E. Remember always in Spanish language the letter H will be silent. Always silent. We can't pronounce the letter H. Okay. If any word start from the letter H, the H is silent. In English also. For example, the word is honest. Right. So, we can't pronounce the sound of the letter H. We say honest. Right. Okay. So, next letter we have I. And the sound is A. J will be Kota. K will be Ka. L is LA. And there is double L also in Spanish language. One is single L. Its sound is LA. And another one is double L. That sound is Ya. Okay. Next is M is ME. N is NA. And there is another N with tilt. Its sound is NA. Right? Okay. Give me a moment. Yeah. So, here we were. Okay. Next we have O is O. P is P. Q is Q. R is R. -ray, double R also. Right? Double R will be R. -ray. S is S. -A. T is T, U is U, right? V is UV, W is UV, doble, X is X, Y is Agriega, and Z is Seta. Clear? Okay. So, once again, yeah. A, B, C, D, a, F, A, K, A, C, E, K, O, T, A, K, A, L, E, Y, A, M, E, N, E, and N, E. N with tilt, that is N, E. Right? Then O, P, Q, R, E, R, E, S, C, T, U, UV, UV doble, X, Agriega, and the last is Seta. Okay? Yeah. Perfect. So, now we know the sounds of the alphabets. Okay? Then, let's come to the vowels. Okay? So, the title is Los Vocales. Los vocales, do you have any idea? What does this mean? Los vocales means the vowels. Los is the article for the and vocales is vowels. So, we all know in English we have the vowels A, E, I, O, U. And in Spanish, A, A, E, O, U. Right? Is it? Yeah. A, A, E, O, U. Okay? 
यू नहीं पढ़ना है इसे इट्स हु क्लियर ओके परफेक्ट नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द वोकेबलरी पार्ट राइट वी रीड द साउंड ऑफ द अल्फाबेट्स एंड वोवल्स नाउ कम टू द वोकेबलरी पार्ट ओके सो हेयर आर सब वोकैब्स फ्रॉम ए टू जेड ओके we know the sounds of the alphabets now we'll try to pronounce the word according to the sounds of the alphabets clear okay so first is a for arbol right arbol is tree then b bolso bolso is bag it is shown in the picture c caballo caballo it's not caballo it's caballo because it's double end and the sound of double l is y remember then we have dedo dedo is finger next we have elefante means elephant fresa a strawberry gato gato is cat then we have helado right it's not helado it's helado because h is silent in spanish language right okay so we'll give the sound of the next alphabet and after h the alphabet is e and the sound of e is a so it's elado okay all right next we have iglesia next khirafa it's not jirafa remember the sound of j in spanish is k right khirafa koala koala is a kind of american bear leon is lion next we have yave yave is e it's not lave it's yave because double l and the sound of double l is y next mariposa naranja it's naranja not naranja right naranja is orange next we have aranya and with it the sound is ne so it's aranya next also pescado pescado is fish queso it's cheese raton rat sandia is watermelon tigre tiger uva grapes vela is candle wifi is wifi xylophone is xylophone yoga is same yoga and the last is zapatos zapatos is shoes clear okay so we have read the article alphabets vocabularies and vowels all right okay any doubt no okay perfect so next topic we have letras e sonidos any idea what's the meaning of letras e sonidos no okay no problem i'll tell you letras e sonidos letras is letters e means and sonidos is sounds right so we are going to learn some uh, sounds of alphabets okay which give two sounds let's see what are the alphabets okay so it is written here c la letra c vavantes de a o u o por cualquier consonante la letra c se pronuncia como k so he is saying if the letter c comes before a o u or any consonant the letter c will pronounce as k right okay if letter c comes before a o u or any consonant its sound is k not the same okay as in english it is same example cat right we pronounce it cat not sat the sound is c but we pronounce it cat because it is same in english also right let's see few examples first is casa 
Casa is house. Next is Coco. Coco is coconut. Next we have Cuba. Cuba is Cuba, the name of the country. And the last one is Classe. And its meaning is class. So you can notice all these are coming before A, O, U or any consonant. The letter C here comes before A, O, U and consonant and its sound is K. Remember? Okay. It's clear. Next we have it is written here, C, la letra C, vavantes, de las letras, A, I, entonces, C se pronuncia como, S. If the letter C comes before the letters E and I, so in that case, we will pronounce it as C. Okay? We'll give it its original sound. Right? Ejemplos. Ejemplos is example. So first is zero. Zero is zero. Next, we have Cielo. Cielo is sky. Okay? So, you can notice from here, when the C letter comes before E and I, we'll give it the sound of its original sound, that is S. And when the letter C comes before A, O, U or any consonant, we'll give it the sound of K. Okay? As it's same in English also. Okay? So, the rule of C letter is clear. Okay, alright. Muy bien. Muy bien means very nice. Uh, just a minute. Yeah. So, here we were. Okay. So, now we have the rule of the letter G also. Right? So, in the box it is written here. C, la letra K. Vavantes de A, O, O or cualquier consonante se pronuncia G. Okay. If the letter G comes before A, O, U or any consonant, it will pronounce as G. Will give it its original sound G. Okay. Examples and examples. First is gato, that is cat. Guantes is gloves. And the last one is gurro. Gurro is cap. It's not gurro. It's gurro. When a double alphabet comes in a word, we have to give it extra sound. We have to span that letter. Okay? Gurro. It's gurro. Gurro is cap. So, it's clear when the G letter comes before A, O, U or any consonant, we'll give it its original sound that is G. And second one is C, la letra K, vavantes de A, I, entonces se pronuncia K. So, he is saying if the letter G comes before E and I will give it its sound K. It will pronounce as K. Okay, let's see some few examples. First is girasol. Girasol is sunflower. Right? It's not girasol. Why? Because the G letter comes before here, before I. So, it is uh, confirmed in the rule. If the G letter comes before E and I, we'll pronounce it as K. Yeah, so it's Kirasol. Next, we have Kente. Kente is people. Right? Clear? Okay. Any doubt? No? Okay. Alright, muy bien. So, next we have nota importante. Nota importante means important note. Yes, right. Important note. So, it's nota importante. They have written it opposite. Right? Why? Because it's a rule in Spanish. We'll, we will write the noun first and then adjective. So, in English, we say my favorite color, my favorite car, my favorite place. But in Spanish, we'll say opposite. If we have to say my favorite color, we'll say my color favorite. That will be mi color favorito. Because we have to put the noun first and then adjective. Right? Okay. So, there is important note. 
what they have written let's see la letra h right the letter h in espanol la letra h in unke se pronuncia in spanish the letter h never pronounced right we know that in spanish the h is always silent so here are some words they have given their sounds q u e if a word start from this pattern we have to give it sound k right and second one is k q u i s k then in g case g u e is g and g u i s g right these are not the words it's a just pattern they are giving the sounds of these pattern right if any word start from these alphabets we have to give its sound right and the sound is k k g and g all right okay muy bien uh just a minute okay next we have consonantes doubles right consonantes dobles so it is written here consonantes dobles in espanol any idea what's the meaning of consonantes dobles see the word any idea okay consonantes dobles in espanol means double consonant in spanish consonantes is consonants dobles is double double consonant in spanish so first we have double c what's it meaning construcción it is written here construcción and the meaning is construction right so if you seem a word is uh, difficult and a large so you can break the word right construcción see the first letter c it is coming before a consonant so we have to give the sound of k and the second c is we have to give its original sound right because it is coming before the letter i construcción means construction and the second one is double r that is carro carro is car right okay so it is clear next we have numeros numeros is numbers right We'll see the numbers. How can we pronounce the numbers in Spanish? So here we are. Okay. Yeah. Numeros del uno al cien. Right. The title is Numeros del uno al cien. Means the numbers from one to hundred. Numeros is numbers. Del means from. Uno is one. Al means to the and 100 is cn right okay let's see uh, how can we pronounce the numbers in spanish language so first is 0 that is 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 7 8 7 8 8 8 9 and this is 10 right so it's 0123456789101010 right easy in numbers we have to learn the numbers 1 to 15 then the rest of the counting are same as we speak in english okay i tell you how okay so 1 to 10 is clear next we have 11 to 20 okay let's see 11 is on say 10 se 13 se 14 se kin se 16 se se is 16 se siete 16 se ocho 16 se nueve and 20 right what we have to do after 15 we have to add the word dc then 6 7 8 9 will be repeat right dc says dc siete dc ocho dc nueve you can see here dc is same 
from 16 to 90 what we have to do we have to add the 6 7 8 9 right and 20 will be one day okay now after 20 what we have to do we have to we have to repeat one day and add 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 as we speak in english 21 22 23 so we have to add the 20 and then 1 2 3 4 5 is same okay okay so there is another rule after 20 20 is vainte so from 21 vainte will be changed to vainti right it will change to vainti 21 is vainti uno vainti das 